From discretionary access control, we moved along to a concept of role-based access control. Role-based access control is slightly different than discretionary access control. Discretionary access control relied on the fact that users would have a listing on the resource they were trying to get access to. In other words, that all resources would have an access control list that listed the user or group accounts and their permissions. Role-based access control centralizes and combines not only the entities, but also their permissions and associates them with a role. This is different than a simple group, which serves to unify and collect multiple different user accounts under a common entity, which is then assigned to a resource under an access control list. The reason we take entities and permissions and associate them together in a role is because it simplifies the administration and assignment of permissions and resources. So role-based access control is very sophisticated and it makes administration much easier.